ओके स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस गो टू अनदर वीडियो फ्रॉम द थर्मोडायनामिक्स आई सेड यू द एंटायर थर्मोडायनामिक्स विल बी डिलीवर्ड अ स्मॉल कैप्सूल लाइक वीडियोस व्हिच विल हेल्प यू टू सॉल्व एनी क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम द थर्मोडायनामिक्स I have incorporated each idea in each video. We should learn every concept from the foundation level up to its all aspects. Then only you can solve questions and numericals. from the thermodynamics that will be possible if you learn any concepts from the entire pers perspective of thermodynamics okay that's my intention here here we can discuss one of the important concept that is work what is a general idea that has been discussed in physics also therefore i request the students to be very clear about the work the concept of work discussed in physics and the concept of work discussed in chemistry many students have very good idea about this therefore their concept is intermingled or interlinked and they will have total confusion what is the students doing to avoid this confusion they are just by hearting okay first i clear in chemistry we are dealing with the pressure volume work pv work there are two types that is either there will be an expansion or there will be a compression okay in the expansion delta v delta v increased here delta v decreased and the work is w is always with respect to external pressure therefore your system is a system which is able to change the volume that is probably gaseous system or there will be a volume change and it will do external you have an internal pressure uh, there are two condition uh, internal pressure is less than external pressure or internal pressure is greater than external pressure if internal pressure is less than or there will be compression and you will have volume decrease if the internal pressure is greater than there will be an expansion okay that is you have a system like this this is your system a gaseous system this system this is your bottom and this part is this part of the container containing a piston movable piston okay this is a container and upper part of the container contain a movable piston and this is a gaseous system and here your internal pressure and here your external pressure if external pressure greater than internal this is a moment piston will move this way if external pressure internal pressure this is smaller the piston will move this direction this is expansion this is compression in the end there we will discuss about uh, term in thermodynamics thermodynamics we will discuss about uh, uh, pv uh, work that is volume changing work we have other works a, a galvanic cell doing a work electric potential is another work that will be discussed uh, in another occasion in another chapters okay now
works during different processes. For an isochoric process, isochoric process, isochoric means delta V is equal to zero. For us, the work is volume changing. We just discussed. Therefore, here also, W also zero. Because no volume change. Because our, uh, uh, no volume change. Because our work involves, let me check the videos. Okay. Because our work involves volume changing. Here in isochoric process, there is no volume change. Second is isobaric process. Isobaric process. Fine. Isobaric process. That is delta P is equal to Okay, fine. Because our work system is doing the work. System is doing. Piston is moving with respect to external pressure. Therefore, only here changing is volume. In the case of system, only changing is volume. Because system is doing the work with respect to external pressure. That is, if external pressure increases compression or decrease less expansion. Change the external pressure. Your external pressure is, uh, is constant. There is no change in external pressure uh, when system is doing work. In this case. Fine. Therefore, uh, because in the our case, uh, all our work is with respect, as, with respect to external pressure that is constant. Therefore, here W is equal to minus P external. What is changing? Only volume is changing. This is equation for isobaric process. Now, reversible, reversible isothermal. Reversible isothermal process. Okay. That is for an isobaric reversible isothermal. Here isobaric also because isothermal and isobaric same temperature and same pressure, external pressure. This is our equation. W reversible is equal to minus two point three north three N R T log V two by V one or minus two point three north three. NRT log P1 by P2. Okay. This is reversible isothermal expansion. Now, irreversible isothermal expansion. Irreversible isothermal expansion. Irreversible Isothermal expansion. There are two types. Free expansion. Isothermal free expansion or moderate expansion. Moderate expansion. Free expansion. That is in the free expansion, P external free means work is zero because the stand pressure is zero. That is you have a system with a piston, here P external is equal to zero. Push up, the piston will be pushed up without any work because our work depends upon uh, external pressure. In the moderate expansion, minus P external delta. This is for isothermal reversal. Okay, or free expansion. Okay. Therefore, this is a very fast, very fast, this is fast, now you have a reversible, therefore, reversible, reversible, I isothermal, isothermal, this is slow, very fast, fast, slow. Now, which requires maximum energy? This, 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 which requires maximum energy for working? This is a maximum energy. It does not need any energy. We have an example. Suppose I, I give you two tasks. Task A and task B. For student A and student B. Student A completed that task quickly 
Student B takes more time, not because student B lazy, he has done the work, he's doing the work continuously, but he took more time because student B work is difficult. That is why it takes more time. It requires more energy. Suppose you want to push equal size of sponge and a rock, equal size sponge and a rock, which will be slow process pushing rock. It is slow and it requires more energy. Therefore, in the case of a work, if it is slow, it requires more energy. Remember, if it is slow, it requires maximum energy. Yes. Now, next is adiabatic work. Adiabatic expansion. Adiabatic expansion. In the case of adiabatic process, in the case of adiabatic process, Q is equal to zero. Therefore, delta U is equal to Q plus W or delta U is equal to W. This is our work, adiabatic. What is delta U? Delta U is nothing but a CV delta T. We know that heat capacity at constant volume is delta U by delta T. Therefore, you will get this. Therefore, W adiabatic is equal to CV delta T. CV delta T. You know, CP minus CV is equal to R. And we know that CP by CV is equal to gamma. I just make an equation like this. CP minus CV. R divided by CP minus CV. All divided by CV divided by 1. Is it is equal to CV? Yes. Because this is A by B. All divided by C by D. A by B into D by C. I'm sorry. 1 by CV. 1 by CV. Okay. Here are uh, all this, these two will be cancelled. These two will be cancelled. You will get C. Now, what is this? This is nothing but this is, look at here. This is R. I just make this is R. Now, I just change this. Here I will do CP by CV minus CV by CV is equal to CV. That is R. This is gamma. Gamma minus 1 is equal to CV. Therefore, very, very important equation. Again, for an adiabatic work, for an adiabatic work, W adiabatic is equal to what is CV? R divided by gamma minus 1 delta. This is adiabatic work. Now what is next? Adiabatic free expansion. What is the work for? W adiabatic free expansion. Free expansion means P external is equal to 0. Whatever the P external, W adiabatic also 0. If P external is equal to 0. Now suppose we have a graph like this P V This is isothermal because in the case of isothermal P V is equal to a constant This is adiabatic because P V is to gamma is equal to constant This is adiabatic Adiabatic P V work is nothing but Area under the curve, area under the curve, okay, area under the curve. Therefore, W isothermal is greater than W adiabatic. W isothermal is equal to W adiabatic. Okay, now, work then 
by a cyclic processes. Work done by cyclic processes. Very, very important. PV work by cyclic process. Cyclic process. Okay. I draw some cyclic process. PV. Another one. PV. Another one. PV. Okay. Suppose uh, this is clockwise. This is anti clockwise. This is also anti clockwise. We can say P1, U1 like this. P, again, pressure is constant. V2, volume is constant. P2, V2, volume is constant this side. Now, again, volume is constant. Uh, pressure is constant. P2, V3. This like this. Here also you can draw like this. This is P1, P2, V1, V2. Here also it's possible. Uh, this is V1, this is V2, P1, P2. What is the work of this process? Cycles may be given in clockwise or anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. For a cyclic process, W is equal to area under the curve or area of area of cycle. Cycle. Now this is a work. Value of this. Now, if it is clockwise, if it is clockwise. It will be negative work. If it is anti-clockwise, it will be positive work. Therefore, what is the work done by this process? It is negative of what is the area of circle? Pi r squared. R squared. Okay, this is a radius. Why negative? Because it's a clockwise. What is it? This is also clockwise. What is work done this? Negative because it is clockwise. Area length into breadth. Area of this triangle. Length into breadth. Breadth. What is this? It is positive because anti-clockwise. Area of the triangle that is 1 by 2 into base into height. Plus. Okay. Therefore, if it is anti-clockwise positive, it is clockwise negative. Then area of that figure, that cycle. Okay. I will give one just example. Suppose let us do this example. A simple example for the understanding. Suppose it is this value is 2. This is 4, this is 3, this is 6. Imagine. What is the work done in this process? Minus because clockwise. Now we can calculate the radius. Radius, you can calculate this direction or this direction or any direction. Okay, this is, I'm sorry, this is also 2. Too far, I'm sorry, too too far. Now this entire distance is two. Am I correct? The entire distance is two. This entire distance is two because from two to four the difference is two. Therefore, what is half? One. Therefore, r is equal to one. Pi r square that is minus three point one four into one square. Minus 3.14 PV, the for liter ATO. Now you make it joule. Minus 3.14 into 1, not 1.1 joule. This much is the work for this cyclic process. 
Okay? Yes. Now, next is work done by real gas. Very, very important exam question. Exam question. Previous question. Work done by real gas. That is W is equal to minus P delta V or P square. Now for real gas, P plus A by V square into V minus B is equal to RT for one mole. Work done for real gas. Okay. Yes. Therefore, P is equal to RT divided by B minus B minus A by B square. Now, work done, reversible work done from P is equal to minus V1 to V2 P delta V. P dV. What is the P? W is equal to minus V1 to V2 or uh, okay. RT V minus V by RT by V minus B minus A V square G. Now RT ln this is ln A V minus B V1 to V2 after integration. What is the integration of 1 by v square? Tell me, what is the integration of 1 by v square? That is plus a by v, v1 to v2. 1 by v square is equal to 1 by v. Integral products. Okay. Now, you apply the limits. When you apply the limits, w is equal to rt ln V2 minus B divided by V1 minus B plus A into 1 by V2 minus 1 by V1. This is a work for real gas. Isothermal work, isothermal work done by real gas. Real gas. Very, very important. Now I will go to another question. With one question, we can finish this topic. Calculate the work done. This is a question. Calculate the work done by by. One mole of ice converted into liquid, converted into liquid at one atm in liter atm. Okay. P W is equal to minus P delta V. W is equal to minus 1 into delta V. We know that what is delta V. That is minus 1 into volume of ice converted. Volume of ice minus volume of water. One more. What is the volume of ice? Density of ice is equal to 0.9. Mass of one mole of ice is equal to 18. Therefore, density is equal to 18 divided by volume of ice. Therefore, volume of ice is equal to 18 divided by 0.9. Density of water is equal to 1. Therefore, volume of water is equal to 18 divided by 1. Am I correct? Yes.
density is equal to gram per ml. Gram per ml. This is gram per ml. The for uh, you will get the volume in ml. Make it in liter. You can make it in here. This is ml. This is also ml. Very careful. The for W is equal to minus into volume. 18 divided by point point one into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 18 into 10 raised to minus 3. Okay. I'm really sorry. Really sorry. V final minus V nation. Therefore, here liquid of yeah, ice is converted. Ice converted into liquid. Therefore, this is final. This is initial. Therefore, here water. Here ice. Here ice. Therefore, here 18. 18. 18. Here volume of ice is equal to 0.9. That is, it is 18. This is almost 20 into 10 raised to minus 3. That is 2 into 10 raised to minus 3 liter 18. This is ice. Okay, I hope this problem is okay for you. Uh, please watch all these concepts, make it clear. Thank you for watching.